Today we will see the analytical proof of van der Monde's theorem. What is this theorem? MC0 into NCK plus MC1 into NCK minus 1 plus MC2 into NCK minus 2 and so on up to MCK into NC0 is equal to M plus NCK. So we can prove this theorem using binomial theorem and we can prove it analytically as well. So we'll see how to prove this analytically. Okay. So what we'll do that what is this M plus N C K represents. So this is equal to number of ways of selecting k objects out of m plus n distinct objects okay so what we'll do that from lhs from left hand side we'll try to prove this result what we'll do we will divide m plus n distinct objects into two groups one group contains m number of objects other group contains n objects okay so what we'll do that we'll choose certain number of objects from here and remaining number of objects from this group okay so what we'll do that from this group containing m distinct objects we'll select no object suppose we have to select total number of object is equal to k what we'll do from other group we'll be selecting remaining k objects okay so either we are doing this selection this way or we can do this way that from this group we are selecting one object and from this group we are selecting k minus 1 objects so in total we are selecting 1 plus k minus 1 that is k number of objects okay further what we can do from first group we will be selecting two objects and from second group we will be selecting k minus two objects so in each stage we are selecting total number of object is equal to k 1 plus k minus 1 is k 2 plus k minus 2 is k and why we are adding plus sign here because these cases are or cases okay either we are selecting this way or this way so they are not depending on each other so this way if we'll proceed finally what we'll do we'll be selecting k number of object from the first group itself and this way we won't have to select any object from the second group so what actually we are doing in total we are selecting k objects in each step from m plus n objects so what we can write here this whole expression is equal to m plus n c k okay so this is the analytical proof of van der Monde's theorem this is a very important theorem you can apply this theorem in so many ways let us see an example okay so what we have to take care of so what we have to consider in each stage is that we are selecting total number of objects in each step which is equal to k okay suppose I am taking one example suppose we have to find n c naught square plus n c1 square plus n c2 square and up to n c n square so what will result for this expression so what we can do is we can write this as n c naught into n c naught plus n c1 into n c1 plus n c2 into 
NC2 and so on. Finally, we can write this as NCN into NCN. Now, we can write this further as this is equal to NC0 into NCN. Why? Because we know that from N objects, if we are selecting no object, it means that we are selecting equivalently N object. So if we are selecting N object, this is equivalent of saying that we are selecting no object from N objects. Or further you can write this as, this is NC1 and this will be NC N minus 1. Okay? And this can be further written as NC N into NC naught. Now a very important point here is that in each stage we are selecting total number of objects equal to n. You can see here 1 plus n minus 1 is n and n plus 0 is n. From how many objects? We are selecting n objects at each stage from 2n distinct objects. So finally we can write this as 2n cn. So we can write here the finally the result will be 2n cn. Okay?